Hello and welcome to the T World Extension. You're back with us again as we continue to review the South African best shows in all TV channels possible. We are reviewing We Are Jola 99 right now. Hey, people say my voice is, uh, makes them sleep, so hey, we're gonna do it. <laughs> Hi guys, they want to. <laughs> they want me. My wife of <clears throat> nine years, eh? Some people are, are talking about wife of 31 years or husband of 31 years. I doubt we'll get there. You think we'll get there? Me? We'll be doing the same. <laughs> you, you'll be saying, this man has cheated on me eh? before we got married. Even when we are married. married eh? even now when That's why I went divorced. out and go and sleep with a, a, a married man. Eh? Yeah. Okay, guys, we're doing a review on Uya Jola. Yes. Nine, nine. And they did say that it will be a one hour special, which for me was unnecessary. It was unnecessary because they could have wrapped it up in, sorry, 30 minutes and we could have gotten the second episode. But unfortunately, it is what it is and we were stuck with Rose. What were you eating? Yes, yes. Don't burp on my face. Okay, let's let's go. Continue. <laughs> you, are, you are irritated. Okay, so we got introduced to Rose. And 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 gift right. Rose went onto the show. She wrote onto the show complaining that her husband has been cheating, or she suspects that the husband has been cheating. Um, and she's definitely knew even before then um, that there had been uh, a case of of uh, or a sus not suspicion, but she has been told by the family that he is cheating with someone else that is known by the family. Okay, so Rose, when she met. Gifted, but they were still just dating. He was cheating on her, even but before they got married. After. Even no, she's always known. She said that she used to fight with no, those no, side no, chicks, no, and no. then they left. I, I'm saying, I'm saying, she only talked about it at the to towards. No, the, it doesn't matter what. Yeah, so that's why I'm starting. I'm starting. People. I'm starting with 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 what 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 she started with. Okay, so uh, in any case, um, Rose is from Bedford View. Let's not get that twisted. She's from Bedford View, somewhere close to where we used to stay. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere close to there. Um, so yeah, she she's from there. And uh, she was... Okay, let's talk about Rose for, for a second. She was dressed up. Rose was dressed up. I don't know Visage, but it looked like it. Maybe those who know Visage will tell us about it. The nails were looking like flick. They were long. Yeah, they were they flick. Were long. Yeah, so... But you can continue with the, with the, with the what what because your voice is interesting to the people. <laughs> Don't get offended. <laughs> Do not get offended. Yeah. Okay, anyway, so Rose explained everything to Jube Jube and they decided to go to look for gift. Apparently, Amaroto told Jube Jube where gift was and they went there. And when they got there, gift refused to open the door. Or rather, the wife re refused Wusi. to open Wusi. the door. Who is Wusi? They stayed there the whole night. And only then in the morning, gift managed to escape and Wusi opened for them. But she asked that she shouldn't be part of the show, as in be on camera. So we could only hear, we could only hear her voice, and she did reveal that she has been seeing Gift for the past three years, and he did tell her that he was going through the divorce. He is no longer with the wife. And what surprised me the most is that um, Rose knew about about uh, Rosie, Rosie all along, and. Uh, I don't know if she was acting all surprised or she just wanted the whole thing to be. No, I think the TV. point the point was to expose um, the husband because even when they continue with the confrontation, okay, likely they managed to get hold of um, a gift and they went to where he was, so they were able to meet up. And Jub Jub did say that he wants to hear the side the husband's story. side of story, and he did reveal that. Um, what did I want to say? I don't know. You wanted the to say nothing. Let's continue. So. When they met up with uh, with uh, um, Gift, Gift started explaining everything that has went on for the past so many years, right? He went yeah. into details of everything that has happened, yeah, including the fact that... Yeah, he was explaining that Rose used to... Why do you do this? <laughs> he was explaining that ha. Rose does cheat on him. Since 2009, He would she would leave him and the kids and go be with a married man whom she was cheating with for like three months. Sometimes it will be two months. Sometimes it will be a month. And then she will come back. He will forgive him. Like he said all the horrible stuff. It was just a, like a repetition of what happened last week. Wherein the husband was just dishing up, dishing up, dishing up of what the, the, the woman did. And Rose did say that some of the things were true and some were not. 
What frustrates me the most about today's episode, just like last week, is older people, man. I don't know why older people are so determined to, to, to expose themselves in front of the screens. Yes, this, and he did. Ah, well, no, 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 wait, man. Hey, I'm still talking. Uh -uh, please, please. So I don't know what, what is driving this um, uh, behavior, if I can put it that way, because for me, I feel that it's completely unnecessary. If people are tired of each other, let them just go separate ways. Specifically, looking at what happened in today's show. The fact that those people know, knew about what each other was doing behind their back and everything. The fact that the other one was what cheating. What each other was doing? Mm. Is it the right English? Uh, whichever way. So they knew about what both of them have been doing uh, behind each other's back. So... For me, I feel that they could have resolved this matter even before the screen. And what surprised me the most was when the lady said that the guy has served divorce papers for three the past years three ago. years. And that's that's before he even met Wusi. So he was in, in, he intentionally went for Wusi, knowing that he's no longer going to be with the other woman. But the other woman, or the wife in this case, she even goes on to the TV and say that this guy is cheating while well, he has already served divorce papers which for me I found it not Unnecessary necessary. Unnecessary and traumatizing to kids because it's embarrassing the kids. They've got all the kids that are going to be bullied or be shamed because of what the mother and the father did and for me it was unnecessary and to show that it seems like um, Rose was just had broken or bitter because she did say that for as long as she is still his wife on, on paper, paper, she would frustrate the husband, she will frustrate the girlfriend. And she will also sue the, the, the girlfriend. She's also going to sue the girlfriend for... <laughs> First time I hear about it. <laughs> even Ju even Ju it was, was, was He even tried to explain and then she pushed him aside and said, I'm going to do it because I've seen it being done by my friend who won the case. But in any case, we don't want to dwell into too much detail. No, but I want to say something. Okay. So that guy says that for the past year, Rose, him and Rose have not been sleeping on the same room, it's right? And every time he would go to the bedroom, he doesn't lock the door. He just leaves it a bit open and then he will be arrosted. He even did it like this. It will be strong. Can I, I just tell you arrosted. something? Huh? Can I tell you something? The, the pain of being aroused. <laughs> and you get nothing yeah. for the whole year. Hey, hey, father. I tried to throw some shade. No, no, no. I'm just saying. I tried to it, On behalf of men, right? Just for women Have you out ever there. felt that pain since you got married? No, no, no. I'm me. I'm Kitar. <laughs> but on behalf so, of men. So, yeah, he did say that. But for the, for the whole year, Rose wouldn't enter the room. And he still he says that he is still very much active. And he wants to be satisfied. Hence, he went out. Yeah, so at the end of the show, um, towards the end of the show, um, the, the, the guy simply said he wants peace, right? He wants them to continue doing their own thing, have a separate life, I guess, until the, the divorce is final. And once they've, they've finalized the house as to who it belongs to and how the arrangements are going to be. But on the other side, the lady said, I will continue to frustrate you. I want to expose you. I want you to, to feel the pain, right? That's the intent, that she's not willing to just let him be. She doesn't want that and she wants to kick him out of the house that's what she said yeah, she's going she to do but uh, yeah um it was an interesting episode but also negative wise because it was uh older people we are used to having young people on the show but this time around it was older people so tell me what the twitter has to oh, say you forgot twitter. about yourself <laughs> no <laughs> i can never forget i see so twitter street are saying while I try to juggle through oh, my phone. Man. You must be ready. I'm always ready, babe. Okay, the first comment is Fandach, it is a mixture of We are Jola 99, Skipper Amafals, Nyan Nyan, and please step in. Mama Zala. Because <laughs> it was also mentioned. <laughs> yeah, that uh, the lady has not spoken to Mama Zala for the past 20 years. And that one's Mama Zala was very close to him. Yeah. Ati, I'm young and active inside, but old outside. Thank you, Madala. Hey, hey, it's almost 60, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I shouldn't be watching this even. I'm embarrassed on their behalf. That's what you were saying. The one from Vusitembe, I just have to specify that one. Can we change Jup Jup's name to Raja? Brother is spicy. Ah, he is. He definitely, there was a point where in the woman was like, should I call the police? And Jup Jup was like, police do not deal with Mujolo. <laughs> 
I, I do. <laughs> I deal with umjolo, uh. so no police. Normalize leaving toxic relationships. Divorce papers were served. Our oh, Wama Rose is forcing things. Yeah, she is. We need to normalize divorcing instead of cheating on each other when the marriage is not working. I agreed. Jup Jup should go for counseling after this episode. Yeah, it was a lot of work. Mm -hmm. I'm a poor Isa, don't deal with cheetah. I'm the one who deals with umjolo. Um Joop a proverb. <laughs> That's it for now, T Squad. We love you so much and do leave your comments down below. Until next time, you guys we love are you the best. Advice. Thank you. Do share your comments down below and obviously, whatever you want to say to us, do leave your comments down below. Thank you and see you next time.